What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Cache OS Truth, uh, which is something I've never done a video about. It's how to recover your bootloader or reinstall packages uh, from a live ISO using a simple, easy to use script that Cache OS developers came up with. So this is for your AMD users. As you can see, the highlighted device. This is for you NVIDIA users with modern GPUs. In other words, um, 1,600 GPUs, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, okay? And this is for you 900 series cards to, you know, Pascal or 1050 Ti, 1060, 1070, 1080, and so on, All right? But for today, I'm going to be using this as this comes with the drivers I need, okay? And I will go full screen the minute I know of a way to get out of it because um yeah i don't know the command keys for that it's weird i'm gonna leave it like this yeah i'm gonna just uh go to filter and i'm gonna do what i always do gonna get rid of the top and the bottom and we should be fine OBS editing magic meant for your convenience not mine okay uh, select 1080p because I know there's some people out there who can't really see that well and that's completely fine as well okay so I do not currently have anything installed but we do have graphical acceleration inside of the VM it's pretty easy to see so we would launch installer and again we would need to enter our Wi-Fi connect so uh, done Wi-Fi is now entered Doo -doo. great launch installer you're using an older version of the cache OS ISO yeah I know I know what I'm doing look I'm gonna be honest with you grub is dead. The only two bootloaders that I would actually recommend are Refined and SystemMD boot uh, because they have less failure rate. Grub is currently trying to be killed off by Red Hat for a reason. It's old, it's bug ridden, and it has many issues. I've had it probably end its own life about a thousand times before where it would just out of nowhere just I unplug the, uh, the SSD to swap it over to a different system to do some maintenance and it's gone. System MB, uh, system uh, MD boot would stay. Refined is great, especially if you do a boot with Windows. So I'm just gonna click this because I have never tried Refined in a VM before. The only time I've ever used Refined was the Pico OS 4, so I'm kind of interested for sure. And I'm gonna go with XFS. You know what? I'll go with what all you guys usually go with, which is probably either EXT4 or ButterFS. But this is so nice. This is garbage. This is so nice. Like, I want to go with this. Y'all are ruining me right now. So, I had a user tell me the cache OS is bloated. It's bloated, they say. It's bloated. Well, here's the thing. You can choose every single thing that you want to install with this. Like, uh, if you don't want most of the applications, you don't have to have them. Okay? The only way the Cache OS is bloated is if you fail to notice during installation that you can install all of this stuff, disable whatever you want, and get rid of it. The only thing you can't disable is Fish, which is very unfortunate because Fish is garbage. I hate it. It's a horrible terminal thingy, and it needs to stop. I don't like it. This is me off. I have my reasons. But again, everything in here is your choice and it does not make the OS bloat it. It tries its best to make it work out of the box. That's what it does. Now, uh, I'm gonna just hit next because I'm not gonna edit anything. I'm gonna enter my password. Right, I forgot that the cache OS install hates one word passwords or one letter passwords because it uh it has a superiority complex install now we're not going to need to even exit the install environment to do anything either we just install and then we go to the terminal and we type a command and we're we're there 
So this installation is going to take a while. Probably it's at 12, 16%. It's doing its thing. Time to reboot. I'm kidding. We're not actually rebooting. Uh, we installed the OS to be able to go into the OS. So we need to pop up a terminal here. Unfortunately, we're stuck with console. One of the worst terminals in existence. And I believe it's called Cache OS Truth. See, it's right there. If you type Cache and then you hit the tab to autocomplete, uh, you'll notice that it's there. And this program must be run as sudo. So sudo, enter, and it's going to find the partitions that we just installed. So uh, this right here, I believe, is our boot. So what it's asking us to do is select the block device for the root partition, which would be this guy right here because it's ButterFS. Uh, and then you're going to want to hit yes, because again, it uses, you know, sub whatever, uh, mount point for slash boot. Okay. So slash boot, right. And enter the partition. So VDA one will always be your boot partition because it's the first, you know, block of information on your drive. Uh, I would show you this, but again, we're not on GNOME. So, uh, KDE has the worst thing ever for a partition like this partition manager is just god awful so as you can see vda1 is your fat32 boot device okay so you'll choose vda1 okay uh yes oh uh skip okay and we're in so if we hit Control l and then we do this we're in so uh sudo Pacman dash s fast fetch do it up then we hit control l for clear and we type fast fetch you can see that this is the system that we just ended up installing great that's awesome that works and authorization requires that we do this it doesn't do anything else so repairing your bootloader from here is depending on what you have like uh I believe it's boot CTL update. If you're having system MD boot, I don't know what it is to do refind. I'll have to look into that real quick. Now for system MD boot, what it says is it just says boot control install, and that will get everything done. Uh, then there's boot control dash dash ESP dash path equals, and then path to the ESP install. And, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to refine. So you basically you just mount your boot EFI and you just do dash refined install and restore boot order. You can just do sudo EFI boot manager. So EFI boot MGR one word dash O and then uh, basically a bunch of random numbers. Replace the XXX with the boot entry number for refined. So all you really have to do is do slash refined dash install. So this right here. Like that. Now the problem is that it's probably installed system wide. And there we go. Now you have it repaired. As for grub, grub is annoying. Um, I believe it's just sudo update grub now and no it's not this is no it's not okay how to repair grub is one of the most annoying things in the world you basically mount your boot partitions and then you just target the installation so we would do it like this and your directory for your boot EFI, whatever it is, and then grub. I'm not hitting enter for it because it would end up doing a whole bunch of stuff because we don't actually have grub installed. We use refined. But again, the, the instructions may differ from what actually need to be done because it's, it's things change over time. And I don't know anything about the Lyman bootloader or how to repair that or whatever. I'm not even gonna bother covering that. But again, um, you can reinstall all your applications at once on Arch Linux. So like this, 
it shows you everything, right? And basically, you can do this. And that will reinstall every single package you have in case something is corrupted and broken. And the best news is, because you can do this, I mean, it's an easy fix. You basically are reinstalling your whole system without wiping your system. And there's a lot of things that need to be reinstalled, as you can clearly see. It does the whole operating system, which is kind of freaky. And about that's about 6.6 .6 gigs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at that. We even save on 0.01 .01 megabytes, which is great. And then after you do this, uh, you can do this command and it will clean up everything to make sure that you free up a lot of space. I hope you guys found this video useful. I decided to do this in VM again, so I don't know. It'd be a lot easier. You guys can practice this so you don't break it. You can also use this VM method uh, if you have everything set up right to be able to boot off another distro. And one you currently have installed. Fedora allows for Ethernet and network out of the box. I recommend that like crazy for anything virtual machine related. I mean, you could do that and get that working and you don't ever have to boot into a live ISO, but well, actually you still do. But that way you don't lose, you don't leave your main OS so you can do lots of research on the side, but there's also browser built in a whole bunch of stupid things that I've said. Point being is you'll end up preparing it one way or another, at least to know how everything works. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching so much. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you found this useful. And uh, this has been on my list for a while. I just keep forgetting it. And I'm trying to go over my list to get everything back up and running on the channel now that I've recovered it. Bye, everybody.